So, hello everybody. We've got another episode of Chatting Bolocks. Yes. Hello, it's Craig back again. Oh, here we go. He started <laughs> already, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> back for episode... Three. Three, number three. Now, I did, for everybody, Price. I did actually film episode, th- the real episode three. Yeah. And I filmed it. It was when we had Iconja, Purple, and everybody round at my house. Oh, yes, yes. Now, I've got the audio, but oh. I accidentally oh, no. <laughs> deleted the video footage. Oh, gee. How did, that, how did you manage that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but but uh, maybe I'm actually working on a way of um, getting the footage back. Oh, that's good news. So I think I might have that footage. So if I can get it, I'll put it out for everybody soon. But this is the real episode three. Well, Number the fa- three. Well, the fake one. The fake one. No, it was <laughs> the episode fake three point 3.5. 3.5? The extended cut. Oh, it's not that. <laughs> it won't be extended. Anyway, we've just come back from. Well, we just left actually. We're on our way home um, from um, a an abandoned children's hospital. Yeah. Um. With James and Rianne from Staffordshire Paranormal. As usual, we're in the car, by the way. Hi. Yeah, hello. Um, so we've, yeah, we've literally just finished that investigation. We're actually in um, the north of England. We're actually technically, I think it's South Yorkshire. Yorkshire? Yeah, so we're in, we're in a town called Chesterfield um, in the UK. And we've just done an abandoned children's home. Mm-hmm. And... It was eventful. Yeah, it, it, it it's a great location. Yeah, great location, great building. Um, to the point where I'm actually convinced hmm. that we got something paranormal. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, uh, things that occurred this evening, we couldn't really explain. Um, we heard a few things that we like. I can't explain. Um, we. We even looked for said noises, but we couldn't explain how basically, they occurred. No, well, basically, we were all standing there talking, well, just shouting out, well, not even shouting, you know, inviting spirits to come out, and come out, and we heard what we could, the loudest bang. Yeah. I've heard, and, but it put us all on edge a little bit, mm-hmm. and then a few minutes after, there was another one, and... Yeah. Okay, not as loud, and then a few minutes later there was another one in a different area, and we couldn't find out where these, these, these noises were coming from whatsoever. But I, I personally think they were paranormal. We cannot explain. No. Like, I, I, can't, I couldn't explain any, like, what, what happened there. But the, the noises, the bangs we heard, right, and the first one we heard, as soon as we were in the building, we heard nothing, heard nothing, and then no. all of a sudden, it's when we started shouting out. That's yeah. when the activity started. Literally like that. Yeah. As soon as Rianne started to speak, it it felt like the spirits or the ghosts were like reacting to Rianne a yeah. lot in, yeah, yeah. in that um, in that building. I, I felt as well. I mean, I I heard something near the end of the night um, that I don't think anybody else. Heard. I didn't hear it, and yeah. I was just a little bit further down the corridor from you, and I didn't hear it. Yeah, we need to go back over the footage, so just to double check. Well, I'll be. I'll, what I'll do, I'll, I'll do what I usually do for everybody at home. Bit, bit of uh, inside information. All behind the scenes. When, when I normally get home from an investigation, I'm normally whether I get whether we get anything or not. As a person, me, I'm quite wired. Mm. So um, I, I get home and I can't just go, right, I'm tired, I'm going straight to bed. I have yeah. to. You've got a little bit of a, you've got yeah, a buzz from I've it, haven't a, you? Yeah, I've got a bit of a buzz. I have to unwind for a little bit, for a, you know, for a good hour. Yeah. And what during that hour... Crack over in a Stella. I have a little beverage, yes. Um, but I start transferring some of the footage onto the hard drive on the computer. Mm. So that's what I tend to do. And then the following morning... I get quite excited <laughs> and have to sort of then go, excuse me, I'm tired. Yeah, then I have to, then I sit back and go, right then, I'm going, we've got to listen to this. I've got to listen to this. I've got to listen to that point. And 
So that's normally what I tend to do. Sometimes, depending on how light it is, I will um, listen to certain parts of the video on the night. But I am quite excited to listen to a couple listen of bits. Listen back to these, yeah. yeah. So there's a very high possibility that some of it may be listened to tonight when I get out of here. So mm. anyway, this video, this so, so this audio, or you might not be as exciting as normal, but um, well, we're not making it exciting. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't got the feathers and boas out tonight. No, not tonight. <laughs> so, um, I hope everybody is okay at home. Um, this is your opportunity. If, you, if you're liking these, then please let us know in the comments below. I know you want this filmed as well. In a car, it can be a bit difficult. Yeah. Because I, I've saw some, peop uh, some people some um, people put in on like the comments below, uh, maybe possibly putting on like a GoPro um, on the vehicle. Are you uh, paying for the GoPro? Hey, eh? <laughs> I haven't got one. Are you paying for it? Maybe after the next payday. I, I have I'm a, not buying have a GoPro. I have a, a gander. I have a gander. Because I don't have a dash cam in my vehicle. Because I'm like I'm a safe driver. See, did, I don't need one. <laughs> well, that's true. It's just everyone. It's just Craig. Just, else. <laughs> just, just Craig. Craig drives where he needs to get to safely and leaves carnage behind him. Yeah. There are like cars turned if, up on the roof. If I have a dash cam, they've got proof. I don't need that. <laughs> yeah. See, Craig's Craig's the safest driver out there. It's just it's just what it's just a trail of destruction. He leaves in his wake. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I've, I've picked up the manoeuvres as well from what um, the dear um, viewers have said. Um, you know, what was it now? Oh, it's um, check your mirrors. Oh, yes. Then indicate, it. then do your manoeuvre, you, you know. I, I've put that into, like, every day. And I haven't been in, involved in a crash. We, no. haven't, we haven't even been involved in, like, we've a not, near miss we've today. We've not hit any curbs. No curbage? For, for, for a couple of weeks. No. I, I, I mean... Now with my sat nav, it's nicely set up. I've got it the way I want it, so I don't have to like scroll and look away from the um, road. You're boring me. <laughs> I'm a boring you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about sat navs. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, Everyday appliances. People at home, we've got um, obviously the our big event coming up. Oh, um, exciting times, isn't it? Now I can't tell you the date it's happening. All I can tell you is it's within the next four weeks mm. okay and I can't tell you the location I don't even know the location do you not no are you serious you don't know where the I location don't know is? The, where the location is <laughs> I just appear on the day you I should know where the location I, is I just go puff you're <laughs> you're in the group chat oh yeah but I'm really bad at group <laughs> chats I'm really bad at messaging no the name of the group chat is the name of the location as well is it actually yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh. You are really bad. You are bad at replying to messages. I am really bad. I had to message him twice a day to find out what he what was still... What time am I arriving? Are you, are you picking me up at 7 o'clock then, mate? Is that all good? I saw that and then the next Four message hours later, <laughs> was just going, 7. Is that 7? <laughs> question Excellent. mark, question mark. <laughs> but yeah, so this, 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 obviously this event, hopefully, if it pays off, we are. We could potentially do it again in the future Ooh, and okay. get at a different location. Yeah, and actually get subscribers to come along and join us. Oh, that sounds like an amazing idea. Um, it will be next year. You know, do the subscribers the only ones that can make it? Is, to, is like a fight between death. Well, that's it. Yeah, get a coliseum. <laughs> that's, that's what I was thinking. All the paranormal investigators standing yeah, by standing eating by. grapes. <laughs> yeah, and then it will be all the subscribers fight to the death. Yeah, we'll throw the last person standing, standing gets him for free. But no, in all, if you can hear, the, I'm speaking a bit louder because there's some road noise. Yeah, we're on there. Um, the roads are shit. Yeah, down there. But it's um, this is actually the noisiest road in the UK, I think. Yeah, it's one off. Yeah, one off. Um, but no, well, but if if this pays off and it all goes to plan, um, you know, we've we're thinking about maybe hiring out a, quite a large location. Oh wow! Okay. And 
getting people to come along. That's amazing. That's a bit. That's, uh, that's, that's, that sounds amazing. Yeah. That does. Obviously, we're not going to make any money of it. So, yeah. us slaughters, investigators, well, 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 we know how much the, the place is to hire. Yeah. The place that we've got in mind. I will tell you after, oh, uh, Craig. But it's uh, we know how much it is to hire. So we'll split it between say 20 people yeah. for example so there'll be a few investigators and then anybody left will be subscribers and they will pay the remainder oh. of the equal amount that we're all paying oh so that's, a, that's a good idea we're not is. we're not earning any money off it yeah and even the subscribers pay exactly the same amount of money that we've got to go to the event yeah but it's our event that, that makes sense yeah I mean that's a, for the, for the subscribers. That's like a it's a it's a great opportunity to meet some of the um, people that you've watched and you've you've been entertained by for hours on end. But, but for us as well, it's, and it's, it's it's good for us. Well, it's nice for you guys, for for the for the for like for, even for the paranormal investigators yep. to actually meet. It's to meet to meet people that support us and watch yeah. us because we wouldn't be here without the people. Oh, absolutely that, not. That no. Watch. No. But you know, it's it's an idea. It's an idea that is being tossed about at the moment, for want of a better word. <laughs> um, wink, wink, scrub, scrub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's 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 something that we're talking about, and I have mentioned the idea to Beardo as yeah. well, and he's quite intrigued about. The possibilities, yeah, I've, as I've, well. So this is the first time I've heard it, and I think it's, it sounds well, like an amazing it's, idea. To be fair, I did. I until we started talking about the event, I completely forgot about it. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Until I, then, I remembered the conversation I had with uh, a couple with a couple of other people. But yeah, oh, I no, will but that, that, share that with you after we've turned the microphones off yeah. because I get a little bit of an exclusive, uh, yes. ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. People of all ages. So we are. Where are we? A sixty one by a travel lodge. Right, Chesterfield, Derby. Okay, so I think we're we're sort of we're heading back into the well, we're heading towards the East Midlands. I think. Oh yes. Yeah, because you have to go through East Midlands to get back to West Midlands. How has it gone from one hour two minutes to get home to one hour five? We've gained three, but we've added gained on. It. Yeah, because it said 1 a.m. would be back, and now it's saying it's going to be 1.02 a.m. Oh. Unless it's roadworks coming up or something. Or well, roadworks can kiss my ass. <laughs> We're just going to barge through it. <laughs> Who cares about roadworks? We'll pull a Dukes of Hazard and we'll just go over the just roadworks. Just go get a ramp. <laughs> Have you got turbo boost on your car? I wish. Oh, I, yeah. I had the option of putting turbo on my car. No, turbo boost as in Night Rider. I haven't got the Night Rider. Kit turbo my, boost. And my we can... car does not talk to me. Oh. Has got the red flashing lights going underneath. And we've got no turbo boost. And I'm not David Hasselhoff. That's, that's true. <laughs> Hasselhoff. Uh, my first, like, the first time that I ever, like, saw David Hasselhoff in anything was Spongebob. Oh, right, okay. That was my first, like... My, meeting of David Hasselhoff. Well, David Hasselhoff was your for me. It was, it was no, no, Night Rider. Oh, I was going to say Baywatch. <laughs> what? I don't know. That's the, that's the wrong one. You no, sounded like you did a Jason voice. No, no. <laughs> I'll show you the slow motion. You know. Oh, you were trying. The viewers can't. The viewers can't, can't see the slow motion. You can't see movement. the slow motion. <laughs> People, are, you know. Anyway. Just imagine slow motion. <laughs> and boobs going up and down. My that was boobs. the best part. <laughs> that was the best part of the. Boobs in the slow motion across the beach. Well, Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson. Yeah, because she's good with her hands. Oh, hey, hey! Oh, my God. <laughs> Tommy Lee knows. <laughs> I've seen the video. <laughs> I've seen their special video I've years seen ago when it came out. I saw it for research purposes. Uh, I, I, saw, I actually did watch their special video they made. I was just curious. And then I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, Tommy Lee though, fucking hell, what's he been eating? Anyway, let's lay yeah, off that. No, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, we can have a quick break for two seconds and we're back just in a few moments. In a mo. <laughs> so we're back, uh, we've had a little uh, short reset. Reset. 
So we are now only 58 minutes away from our location. Whoa, Don't whoa. worry, <laughs> you won't be. We won't. You won't have to listen to this for a whole 58 minutes. Um, but just going back, we've just been talking about it actually. Going back into tonight's location as well. It's it's quite. It, it bothered me. It not bothered me. That's the wrong word. It um, knowing what the place was. It was a, the, the place where we went. We've been tonight. It was a. A children's hospital. Well, firstly, it was owned by um, a family, and then there was the family. Well, the guy who owned it got in some money troubles, and um, it all. He had to sell it off to the city or well, the town, mm. um, and then they built. They turned it into a children's home for children with who were recovering from illness. Yeah, and then later on, it got turned into like a children's home, if you like. Half of it, they, they, they cut it in half, so it was a children's home, and then the other half was uh, for people who were suffering from dementia. Yeah. And it bothered me because there were some murals on the wall that were still there, and it, it well, not, I keep saying bothered me, it didn't. It just made me think of all the activity that would have gone on there and how people would have coped and yeah. in there, you know, not knowing where they were and Yeah. Well we, like some of the like the bedroom me. the bedrooms that you we saw they were they were like little cupboards, really. They were they, some of the bedrooms weren't that big. No, it was just basically somewhere to put a bed. Well yeah, I mean they had they, they all and like, the, I only saw one dining area as well, so Yeah. So I it, it, it intrigued me to see how it would have operated with it being both a home for people who are suffering with dementia, yeah, and then also with um, the youth as well, yeah, living is, there. I, don't, I mean, I'd like to. Have, there is a website that I've been on, and I'm going to see. It wouldn't let me download them early, but there were um, reports from the um, National Health Service of um, inspectors that had gone in there to have a look around. Okay. And I'm pretty sure I can download them, but um, yeah, because surely those uh, I think that they'd be like public domain. They would. Well, they'd be here. Um, um, usually, um, health and safety things are um, accessible to the public. Aren't I'm, they? I'm going to try and see if I can. I tried to download one earlier, and it said it was unavailable. Mm. So I'm not sure, I'll, but I'll have a go. But anyway, but it was, it was a good investigation. I uh, can't wait for you all to see the video on that. Yeah. Um, I can't think what else we've got coming up. I think, I'm not sure about what's happening next week. If I, I, I bought it on the community post earlier that um, I'm tired. Yeah. The reason that we haven't been out for a couple of weeks is because we could have gone out, but I've been exhausted. Yeah. And, and I do want to put it out there. Uh, last week, um, it was WrestleMania, so... <laughs> yes. Well, that actually leads me on to something else. Yeah, WrestleMania, so, yeah. There was at least one really late night where I was awake for about 18 hours. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, it's all sort of catching up with me. Like, I'm getting too old for it now, you know. Oh, gosh, it's catching up with you it's now. catching up with me. Father time's getting you. It's... He got me a while ago, if I'm honest. But, <laughs> but that's what I wanted to do as well. I'm not sure if, I mean, you guys, some of you guys may be into the um, the wrestling, the WWE, and I mean, me and Craig are quite big fans yeah. of it, aren't we, WWE? So, but I'm actually, and Craig may be going as well, but I'm yeah. going to a, a wrestling event next week, and um, I was going to vlog it. Oh, I think you should. Um, if people are interested, if people want to see me, like go to a wrestling event, reacting to it, as um, well. reacting to it, and all that good stuff, then you know that might be a bit of fun. I, I think that would that I reckon that'll be fun. It would be. You should, I you think it'll be it. fun because I, I have to say, like with the UK as well. Whenever there's like a wrestling event going on in the UK, you know the UK crowds are going to be absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it is going to be. It's going to be a good. It's going to be good fun. Could have good, be good fun, but and how good was it to see James and Rianne? Oh, wonderful, absolutely wonderful. They're good people, aren't oh, they? Oh, yeah. This is my third time 
um, third time yeah, third, I think it is with James and me. Third own. time collabing with them, and it's been absolutely brilliant once again. You know, they're, they're two wonderful, lovely people. Yeah, like the first time I met them, they were so welcoming to me, um, and you know, it, it's just so friendly. They are yeah, just so friendly. They're nice. Rianne gives the best cuddles. Oh yeah, she does. <laughs> she does. She does. They're amazing cuddles. Anyway, this is just a little chat with you guys, and just to go, hello, just for us to talk in the car on the way home. We're 52 minutes away. We're passing a McDonald's shortly. Hey. I'm not actually that hungry, though. I, oh. I'm not hungry. Oh, tempting, tempting, tempting. Oh. I mean, there might, there might be another one on the way, so you might have. There is there. another one, but I'm, I'm no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Oh, is McDonald's not taking your fancy? No, see not if really. there's a KFC there. Oh, yeah, no. KFC's I'm, not 24 hours though. That's the only downside. What did I eat? Well, I had something to eat before I left the house. Uh, what did I eat? I can't even remember what I. Ate. Oh, I had a nice big piece of fish. Oh, what sort of fish? Um. Uh, what uh, a swimming one! <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what it was. Was it Nemo? <laughs> it was, probably was. It was a fish in batter. Oh, yeah, fish in batter. So a bit of cod. Might, it might have been right, and it was with a with some um, small chopped up potatoes. Okay. That in the air fryer. Oh, you gotta love the air fryer. Like, like really teeny tiny pieces. They're not like chips. Well, they're like little cubes. But, but yeah, like cubes. Yeah. But that I chopped them up and put them in the air fryer. Mm. And a little bit of salad. Oh, like nice. Like some lettuce, some cucumbers, some tomatoes. That's, really, that's quite healthy, that is. Well, it, got a bit of know. veg in there, you know, a bit of greenery. Yeah, and everything was all done in the air fryer. The fish was all done in the air fryer. Mm. And, and just a little bit of salt. That yeah. was it. That was it, and um, and it was very tasty. It was really lovely, and I enjoyed it. Nice, it nice. Filled my belly. I'm trying to lay off like shit food. Yeah, takeaways and everything. Oh, takeaways once a month. I have a takeaway. Yeah, like literally once a month. What's your go-to takeaway? KFC. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you can't beat it. I love KFC. You got your variety. You got your chicken. I like. You got chicken. your chicken in the bun. No, no, no. It's just chicken. Right. What is yours? Is the, are you the fillets or? No, no. Bone? I have the bone chicken. Yeah, because I know some people don't like things on the bone. No, I don't. I don't. I don't mind that. Because my brother, my brother, for years hated things on the bone. No, for years hated it. It's got to be. I have three piece chicken. Three chicken. Mm. And you get two. Well, it's a family thing. Yeah. So you get six pieces of chicken. Yeah. And four of the fries. Yeah. Right. And um, I'll share it with my mother. Oh, yeah. She nice. loves it. Yeah. I'll share it. So once a month, I'll share it with my mum. Oh, no. See, my go-to for KFC is the, the Wicked Variety Bucket. So you get a bit of the hot wings in there, you get the fillets, yeah. and then you get the um, chicken on the bone no. as well. And then give me a tub of gravy. And oh, now you're I talking. Go. KFC gravy. Mind you, the KFC fries, they've got like um, uh, I don't know. a coating on them, haven't they? They've seasoned them up now. I like. You like the season? Yeah. See, I like the old OG KFC chips, I do. The best KFC, the, the best chips that um, fast food for Mac like, is. Burger King used to have the best oh, ones. Oh, Burger King. Because they were not Why did I say Murder King? Murder King. <laughs> uh, no, it's the Burger King, not Murder King. You know which fast food joint I really want to try, though? In, in, if it, I think there are, like, a couple of branches in the UK, but I want to try a Wendy's. I've been to a Wendy's. You've been to a Wendy's? I have been to a Wendy's. I'm jealous. Right. It was all right. And I went to a... What are they called now? Big... Not... Um, what are they called now? Five Guys. Five, oh, I love Five Guys. Yeah, Five Guys. Five, the, uh, the five fries are really nice. Yeah, Re- like the, the, I love Five Guys, but Five Guys is expensive. It is really expensive. It's expensive. You have to like sell a kidney to <laughs> get a burger. <laughs> See, I like that they do um, these grilled sandwiches as well um, at Five Guys. What um, impressed me about Five Guys is, which you don't get them in, you don't get this in the UK, 
I know you get them other parts of the world. But Are you, you going to say them. about the brown paper bag? No, no, oh. no, no, no. <laughs> See, that's I, I what I love in, about it. <laughs> I went to a Five Guys in... Where was it now? I, can't, I think it was Coventry, I think it was. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Mm. It was a Five Guys anyway. And I, my first ever Five Guys, this was. And obviously the brown paper bag with the yeah. fries. And they just chuck the fries in, don't they? Yeah. And you got your seasoning. You get which chip, you, chip fries. You get... Yeah. That, uh, with the chip. skin still on though. I oh, know, yeah. they're amazing. Yeah, right. And then obviously you get your seasoning just to chuck on top. Of, yeah. Right. But I went, oh, go on then. I'll have a can of, uh, I'll have a bottle of Budweiser as well with that, thanks. Yeah. No fast food joint does that in the UK. I know, no, no, like, I don't, I see, I forget that the um, Five Guys has, um, like, a, a, a selection of alcoholic beverages that you can have as well. Yeah. Well, which, which is what I've just said. Yeah, I know. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> I just said that. I had a Budweiser. <laughs> I did say yeah. I had a Budweiser, Craig. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, um, I, uh, I, I, I do uh, rate Five Guys. Wendy's was good. Mm. Uh, there's another one open. There's one opening somewhere local. Well, when I say local, within. It's, it's a radius less. of like 20 miles yeah you I can't say, remember where it was though what a Wendy's yeah oh okay I know I think there's one possibly in Staffordshire maybe I don't know I, I know there's definitely one in Milton Keynes because when I went to see uh, my, my Chemical Romance um, in Milton Keynes there was one there and I was like I really want to go so I waited until the event was finished, truck went there and it was closed. I was like, no! <laughs> yeah, you My see. one chance is gone. <laughs> Wendy's. But in that, Wendy's, I will, I will consume you one day. Well, all you people in the States are going, we get those here all the time. You know what? I've been to Wendy's like all every <laughs> week. <laughs> every week. Lucky buggers. <laughs> You've never had a Greg's sausage roll, though. Yeah, you don't go, you haven't had a Greg's. Or a steak bake. You ever had st- oh, mate, steak bakes from Greg's? Oh, oh that's top tier. Absolutely delicious. Because it always delicious. surprises me when, like, because I've seen, like, a few, like, videos on YouTube when there's celebrities that come to the UK yeah, and they do try, promotion. Yeah, like, they do it on, like, these, like... Unilad. Uh, yeah, you- Unilad, like, stuff like that. And you get, like, um, Americans trying British food. Yeah, and they've never had a sausage row before. What, I mean, what, why haven't that? But it's like, the, did you see the wrestling one where Triple H was eating steak bakes and stuff like that? No, no. Try LucasAid. Did he try LucasAid? Yeah. Well, they never had LucasAid in the UK no, in America no. as well. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what? We should do, let us know in the comments below, you very few people that listen. <laughs> do you want you Craig and myself to buy some American food? And try it. And try oh. it on camera. Oh my god. It's going to be some American like those, sweets. It's going to be like sweets. those dill pickles. No, you're not. I'm not. That's American? No, they they give yeah, you a dill that. pickle. I, I would. I like pickles. Um, but America as well. Um, somebody told me about. I don't know if it's America or can, Canada. But what they do is they'll get bread, put peanut butter on it, and then put pickles on it. And I've tried this peanut butter and pickle sandwich. It's not bad. Uh, straight away, yeah, I, I don't like peanut butter. You don't like peanut butter either? Nope. Oh, I can't be a bit of peanut butter. Yeah, them Reese's biscuits. Oh, yeah. Reese's pieces. Reese's, Reese's, can go and fuck off. <laughs> Discontinued. <laughs> Reese's can fuck off. They're disgusting, they're vile. No, big, just a big fat no. <laughs> Massive. X on there. For Thing is, I, I remember when I was a kid, I used to love peanut butter. Yeah. And I don't know why, and something happened, and don't ask me what it was, because I don't remember. Something happened, which now my body has a complete intolerance to peanut butter. Oh. Just the thought of peanut butter makes my stomach go. Really? I can't stand peanut butter. But I used to love it when I was a kid. I remember eating it. I remember eating it with my f- putting your finger in the jar. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, like, yeah. I, mean, I, re- I remember doing it, but now, nope. Absolutely. Not. Oh wow. The thought of peanut butter and chocolate, just as well. I know some people do that. They like dip it, dip it in the chocolate. Yeah, it's well, like the they, Reese's though. It's a Reese's. That is peanut butter chocolate. Isn't yeah. It? Reese's. Reese's. It's nice. 
I can't eat too much of Reese's Pieces because it gets a bit sickly, but I, 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 I rate it. I, oh, probably... I don't. <laughs> Roll. Screw you, Reese's Pieces. Yeah. <laughs> I actually hate you, Reese's. <laughs> I will never want a sponsor from you. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Can you imagine if Reese's contacted us and went, would you mind doing a paid advertisement? <laughs> Fuck off, Reese's! <laughs> Back away! Screw your peanut butter, screw your chocolate mix, get away from me! Yeah. <laughs> but we're offering you a million pound. I don't care! <laughs> screw your peanut I've butter. I've got principles. <laughs> I re- my tummy reacts weirdly if I eat peanut butter. Him, my arse all reacts if I eat peanut butter. I don't know what it was that turned me, but my body's going, no. But it's peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time, we are, we I'm so tired. <laughs> but nah, um, I'm trying to think what else is. Oh, I'd love to try Sonic as well in America. You want to try it? What? Sonic. But a hedgehog? No, they have, they have a fast food joint called Sonic and I think they've got do they know, sell hedgehogs if they do if they don't they're stupid okay, okay. They're, they're losing out on marketing here well they are clearly <laughs> um, but no they do like if you, fall, if you fall over in the shop you just discard a load of rings all <laughs> over the floor <laughs> just scatters everywhere like, ding, 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 ding. oh sorry and then you got to reach off from the beginning again that's it <laughs> trying to get to the till ding 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 Ding, 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 ding. Just getting served by freaking Dr. Eggman behind the till. Can you imagine? Ah, Sonic! <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? To get amazing. to the toilet, you've got to go past three checkpoints. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like that. that. It's the, um, it's like a swirl. It's a, is it a swirl? It is like a swirl where you have to like roll into a bowl. That's it. You have to roll into a bowl to get into the toilet. Oh, I missed playing the original Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, I, I don't think I've that was the original. Good game, the OG Sonic. I, I wasn't good around then. I no. think I think my first gaming experience was GTA Vice City. <laughs> that was your first gaming experience. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, I had I an saw Atari, my... the oh, first wow. ever games console like ever. And we were like Pong. And it was basically two sticks with a ball. Boop. Boop. Oh, sh- yeah. I'll tell you what, it was a fucking, it was the best thing ever. I remember on the old Nokia phone, Snake. I'd always steal my Snake on the yeah. Nokia. Nah, I'd always yeah, steal my grand, uh, my grand, uh, my grandparents some Nokia phones and play Snake on there. That's it. My brother had the highest score. I'm very jealous. <laughs> Do you remember Flappy Bird? Oh my gosh, that came and went like that. That did though, because. I was I've got it on secondary. my TV. Really? I've got Flappy Bird. Well, it's not the OG Flappy Bird, but it's a version of it. And I've got it on my on the games on my big TV. So I don't just every now and again I'll get the, you can use the your remote control, control as the like little um, your TV remote as the yeah. so yeah I'll play Flappy Bird. Sometimes. <laughs> My, oh, brother, brilliant. my brother, though, is very good at it. My really? brother's quite competitive when it comes to everything, to be fair. Yeah. Right. I don't know if Jamie is listening, but Jamie, you're a knobhead. And you are. <laughs> you have to win. He has to win. He has to come first. He has to He win. has to win the game, yeah. 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 The, He's got the, game's, the game's not over until I win, OK? <laughs> well, no, that's it. I mean, Jamie's got three kids, and it's, it's quite competitive now. He won't let them win anything. Oh, no, he, I agree he, to that. He, he won't, he won't I let always them agree win. to that. Um, yeah, it's quite funny. Jamie's <laughs> quite. Jamie's one of the most competitive people I think I've ever met. See, I, I, I'm competitive, okay, but I, I make like because I'm, one of my mates, um, I, I, I'm like close to their family, um, and it, I class them as like my second family. Basically, um, we usually have like board game nights and everything. When you play either Monopoly or ah. Risk with them, I love oh Monopoly. my gosh, you 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 better wear a, like a, a bulletproof vest because I like Monopoly. it gets very heated very quickly. Yeah, especially if somebody steals Mayfair from somebody. Oh well, I, I like Monopoly and I like Risk. Yeah, right. Risk though, I can get. I don't mind losing at Risk. It's one of those games. I like Risk. But oh no, Risk just gets Risk gets very. Um, I thought they were. Oh, that, oh, that, I thought somebody was honking me, but it was my tyres. <laughs> my tyres um, then. Yeah, uh, M- Monopoly, I'm very. I like. I'm quite competitive. I'm very sneaky. Yeah, that was. 
That noise you can hear is actually the white crate going over the white lines in the road. We've just overtaken the lorry and... Um, just hear that. <laughs> yeah, I, lo I do love a game of Monopoly. What you go... Okay, so with Monopoly, do you have like a street that you try to get straight away? Always, yes. What's, your, what's yours? I go for the shitty brown ones at the beginning. See, I don't understand this. Why do you go for the shitty brown ones? Okay, right. it, it makes sense because it's the cheapest ones to build a hotel. Right, cheapest to build a hotel on, straight mm. away, you've got do not pass go. Yeah. Do not, yeah, so people pass go, oh, bang, you landed on my brown one, that's £500, please. Yeah. It's £500 each go, mate, for yeah. my hotel. And then you right? do shaft them a little bit as well. It's either you you, they land on you, or they can land on that income tax. Yeah, exactly. So, straight away, mate, you pass go, you've got to get a good number, so you're going to get shafted by little browns. <laughs> right? <laughs> by, by little brown, brown boys. <laughs> right? <laughs> You're gonna land right in the shit when you land <laughs> right with me with my little browns. The so shit all about I it. always go for the browns, right? Yeah. Standard procedure, me always browns. Yeah. Right? People go, what are you buying it for? Ah, trust me, mate. Because I can get some good money off that. Yeah, you've just I always go. That as penny, you, pe pe pennies, pennies laying. Nah. <laughs> right, you've just passed go, collect your 200 pounds, well done. Well, right, <laughs> I'll have that, but I'll have that, thanks. Yeah. Right, I think it was like two hundred and fifty pound for the one and five hundred for the other. I think uh, it's it's all right. right. It's a, it's all right. My next one is Trafalgar Square and the Fleet, the Red Fleet, Fleet, Fleet Street. Street is yeah, it? right. And then after that, it's the Greens. Wow. Okay. Right. See, I always try to go for um, Park Lane and Mayfair. Uh, well, the most everybody goes for that. The most expensive ones. I've known people who will go through the game and not buy anything until they land until on Until they land on those. No, I don't agree to that strategy. No. As soon as you land on something, you buy it. I always say. To be fair, I always go for the train stations as well. Train stations are always good. Gives you that little bit extra. And then also utilities. You see, they're also good. They, they add but, up. But you've got to, you know, you've just got to get on to the... You've got to go where you, 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 your cards are, like your chance. Mm. Advance to Mayfair. Yeah. Advance to Trafalgar Square. Yeah. Right, you know, uh, go back to Old Kent Road. Yeah, wouldn't right. you? They, those, those are the ones that you want to buy. Yeah, especially if somebody lands on like, the... Exactly. Ch is it, it's the challenge, isn't it? That's what they call those cards. Chance and... Ch chance yeah, cards. Yeah, yeah. So, the, you know, you, those are the ones you've got to buy. The named cards, advance to go, buy go. No, you can't. But <laughs> but you know so you know, like but also go for the one so go to jail go directly to jail right yeah so what I do is you buy the ones next to jail yeah so when somebody gets out of the jail exactly the chances they're they're might roll a one yeah. two three or four or yeah something. so you never know do you yeah buy the ones that are next to there do you put oh, I'm intrigued you know if like there's income tax and everything do you put the money in the middle of the board put the then, money in the middle of the board and, and then whoever lands on free, free parking, parking gets all that gets all the money yeah yeah because some people don't do that strat don't, don't play it like that yeah you see but I love it as soon as you land on that free parking ho, ho, ho. Laughing, laughing all the way I'm like yeah a few hotels on there for me please yeah a few houses <laughs> Right, oh, got that stock. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna call it a day now. I hope you've enjoyed listening to us talking about games and Monopoly and stuff like that. What is your favourite board game? Do you like Monopoly, Cluedo, or Clue, as Ooh, they call it? Because they call it Clue, don't they? Yeah, Clue. Uh, but Cluedo, Monopoly, Risk. Do you know any of these games? It was Mrs. Peacock with the freaking. Uh, what, what, what did they get? Mrs. Clock. Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Peacock. In the kitchen with a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> a great night for all. <laughs> yes. And on that bombshell, thank you very much for listening. I'm not sure thank how you. many of you actually listened all the way through, but um, thank you for listening to us. And um, we're going to be going now. Yeah. Because we're like 32 minutes away from our location. And you've heard us for about 30 minutes. So, you have? You know, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to listen to two blokes just talking absolute bollocks. <laughs> Absolutely. You couldn't have said it better. But if thank you, you very much. But if you have any questions that you want to ask either myself or Lee, um, or if him. you want he's to um, talking, chime though, in about... <laughs> are, you, are you whispering in no, your No, I'm not saying a word. <laughs> if, you want to, if you've got anything to ask I us... I wish you'd shut um, up. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Have you got you can't even hear what I'm saying, can you? No, I can't. <laughs> Craig is a penis. <laughs> too quiet I can't hear that <laughs> um, but yeah like I say have you He's got anything to say to. <laughs> yes. um, but if you have anything no, to ask us or board games that you, you find are uh, great um, you know you're comment below <laughs> I'm going to tune out anyway <laughs> <laughs> but it's been wonderful once again I'll see you all on the flip flop bye bye see you later everybody he's such a boring bastard <laughs> <laughs>